I did the video on the 25.2 update on the active target, uh, the, the user interface changes. Now what I'll do is I want to do the one and I want to show you guys how to do the depth offset. And that's the one that's going to help you figure out, uh, basically let you see your bait quicker in the water. So for example, you throw on top water and now you can see it splash the water. So that's what the whole point of this video is. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the trolling motor. We're going to mark the water line on the trolling motor. We're going to go on land here and I'll show you how to measure from the water line that we just marked with the tape uh, on land and show you how to, which the active target transducer that you use to line it up on as a reference point. I'm also going to show you something that's probably just as critical, or actually more critical, is basically getting your transducer aligned. So, so let's go and uh, we're going to, I'll show you how to do, mark the water line right now. Okay, so what Will's going to do, uh, let me back up so you can see Will a little bit better. He's going to drop the trolling motor in the water and he's going to pull it out and we're going to show you where the water line is. Okay. So he's going to take and drop it in the water. Okay. So there it goes in the water. So now you can look, kind of look down there and see how deep it is in the water. You can see it's almost up to my, the shaft of my uh, live scanner there. So he's going to bring it up out of the water. Okay. Once he pulls it up, he's got a water line there. You can see it right on the shaft. Okay. So he's going to take and mark that with the tape. All right. All right. So now, now we have our depth set up. In fact, if you take, where's your tape measure? Will's gonna grab a tape measure, but that's a lot deeper than I thought we were, which is actually good. Uh, so just a quick guesstimate. I'll do this on land, but Kater, we're gonna use it off the center line there. So that distance on, on my boat is roughly, what is that? Uh, not quite. Not quite two feet. So what we'll do is we'll set my depth offset to roughly two feet or whatever. We'll, we'll basically do that on, on land and get a double check. So to me, one of the most important things you need to do with uh, setting your active target up is get the alignment of the transducer to your trolling motor, which will give you the alignment to the pointer on the motor head itself. That way you know when you're pointing someplace, the transducer is pointing there as well. So one method I have to do that is I take a piece of this HPDE, no, HDPE, there you go. Always get it backwards. And this has got a curve in it, but what I'm gonna do is there's, this is the straight edge here. I'm gonna use this straight edge and put it on onto this transducer, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line both sides of the transducer up to touch, touch it properly, okay? like that, okay? So once I got that aligned, then I can tighten my transducer on the shaft. Again, using a five millimeter, just tighten it up. And now you got the alignment. So now your transducer is aligned to your trolling motor, okay? And so that'll that's 99% of your problems with locating your bait when you're throwing it. Okay, if this is not right, and you haven't calibrated yourself to the way it's set up, then, then you got a problem. So this will set you up now. The one thing I will say that because the way this transducer, even on the shaft, and even if you get it really nice and tight, if you the way it travels on the road, it's gonna do what as you ride? It's gonna, every time you hit a bump, it's gonna slightly try to move downwards, okay? It's happened to a buddy of mine, and I talked to him over the phone and I said, okay, I bet your transducer's off to the left, okay? So if, you're, if you find that you're not able to find your bait anymore, what you wanna do is throw it slightly to the left. And what that means is your transducer's just simply moved because you're hitting bumps on the road, not on the water, bumps on the road, okay? So this is, this is a, again, a very, very important step. So make sure you do this first, and then you can do your depth offsets, and then you should be able to have everything lined. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys how to measure your depth from the water line, which is this piece of tape here. Can you see the tape in that? Okay, from the tape down to the proper angle on the transducer, okay? What Lawrence says to use is use the one that's most the vertical, right, right here. Uh, if you look at it, you go from this screw hole on this side to the other side, they're exactly in line, so that the other one might be a little bit easier for you to measure on. 
but this is the one we're going to try today okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use that same piece of uh high density polyethylene to line it up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to get that perpendicular down there and then line this up here okay and that's going to be pretty close so we're going to go from this line here down to the shaft so it's going to mark it right there and let's see if i can get this out of the way okay so that's our mark right here on the shaft so that is the transducer depth Not recommended to stick the tape measure in your mouth, but unfortunately that's the way I gotta do it right now. So that distance there on the shaft, I don't know if you can get a picture of this or not, is roughly, it's, it was right above that section right there. So that was roughly, it's 22 inches, okay? So now we gotta convert 22 inches to feet and decimal, okay? So, so that's how to get the measurement. Again, you can use either side as long as you use the center point here. Okay, it'll give you the same distance on both sides. Do not use the, the deep face. They really want you to use the uppermost transducer, okay? So that's the one that we reference on. And again, reference to the waterline, done deal, all right? So we're 22 inches. I'll show you how to convert that to you know, it's going to be 1.8, 1.9 feet. And then we'll put that in the into the, uh, the the boat. We'll do that on the water. We're out here. I'm going to show you what the depth offset looks like. But what we want to do first is to show you what it looks like without it set. Basically, it's set to zero. And what Will is doing is Will is getting his uh, drop shot. He's throwing, tossing a drop shot out. And he's getting it dialed in first. And he wants to show you what it looks like. That little uh, piece down here on the screen, that's a little school of uh, baby uh, walleye, believe it or not. That's what they look like on the screen. They're, pre they're pretty little. And occasionally you see this big guy swim through. That's the, uh, there's a muskie that lives in this area. So, okay, there's, there goes the bait coming off the bottom. You see it coming up. Okay, so Will's gonna throw out. We wanna see what it, when it hits through, goes through. And there's the bait going down and there it is you can see she didn't pick it up until about 10 feet down okay there's the bait right on the bottom all right so that's a drop shot going down so you want to try that spider as well i know you're trying to catch will's trying to catch fish which is good so. okay yeah well there's there's the bait and you can see his line arc line arc there so okay okay so now will's going to give it a shot with the uh the spider grub which is a i think that's a half ounce head on that one so we should see a little bit different signature on the screen you can see it going down you almost saw that right as it hit the water and now it's going down it's slightly out of there it is back in the cone you can see it going down 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 and somebody's coming right towards it. Look at that, Will. Somebody's going right towards it. Boom. Eat it. Come on, eat it. Uh, all right. Make another cast. Do about a uh, 50-footer. And there it is. There it is coming down. You notice a little further out, it didn't really pick it up. Now it's, oh, he's got another bait. He's got two more fish coming. He's got a bunch of fish coming to eat it. Probably too small. All right, so that's what it looks like with the zero depth offset. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break out my calculator off the phone and I'm gonna convert that. So what I've got here is I brought up the calculator, okay? And the calculator, let me clear the entry. We had 22 inches, right? And I'm gonna divide that by 12 inches and that's gonna be 1.833. Well, the units of resolution is really just one decimal point after the the prime the whole number. So it's gonna be 1.8, that's our new depth offset. So now I'm gonna switch over to, I'm gonna hit put, hit the pages button, do settings, go to sonar, active target installation. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my depth offset here. And now I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna set it to 1.8, okay? That's our 1.8, this is our 1.8, okay? 
So I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to save that. Now, do you see what happens on the screen there? Back up. So see that angle there? So now that's, our, that's actually where the new uh, depth is. If you have depth showing on the screen from the active target, it will then adjust the depth by 1.8 feet from what it, what it was originally because now it's, it's almost two feet in the water. So that's what it looks like with depth offset. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Will go back up front and uh, he's going to make a few casts and we're going to uh, see how that looks now. Okay. So it's actually pretty simple. Again, align your transducer, measure the distance from the water line to your transducer to that that, that one piece of the transducer I showed you, and then make your cast, uh, and then you should be able to see it. Okay. There, there it's going down right there. That was the spider. Yeah. Yeah, there's spiders on the bottom now. Okay. Okay, he's going to redo the cast. You see the spider coming up. Bring it up to, yeah, just keep reeling it in. Just. He's just trying to get that suspended fish there. Okay. So that's what a, uh, like I say, a half ounce football jig looks like on the screen. So. Okay, and you could see immediately as soon as it went in the water right there, as soon as it splashed the water. That's something we didn't have on the other setting. Okay, so next, next what he's going to do is he's going to show you with a drop shot. And the drop shot's got a, uh, what do we have on that weight? I'm trying to think. I think it's a, a three-eighths. It's either a three-eighths or a half-ounce weight. We, I, use, I tend to use a lot of heavy weight on my drop shots in the current here. So... So there it is. There you go. Boom. As soon as it hit the surface, you could see it. And there's the weight going down and there's the bait going right behind it. Okay. So, so there it is on the bottom. Perfect. All righty. Okay. All right. So, so that, uh, that shows you what the depth offset is on this 25.2 uh, update. It looks like it really truly does work and does what it says it's going to do. Again, the key piece is measuring your transducer, fit, proper transducer face, okay, and getting the transducer line so you can repeat, make repeated casts. Once you are able to make repeated casts in the, in the cone area, the, uh, the area that you're looking at, then you should be good to go. Anyway, I uh, appreciate you guys watching this. Uh, if you got any questions about the video, please... Uh, you know, uh, leave a comment. Uh, I'll be, got, you know, try to answer any anything positive, uh, negatives. Well, we'll ignore those. Uh, but if you haven't subscribed, I appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.